Hi everyone, good morning. It's Daniel Chin here, the author of the Manifested Millionaire book. Now I had a good friend who owns a startup marketing company and he called me this morning because he is currently reading the book and he had me he had a few questions for me. And the first question what he asked was, Daniel, how do you what's your morning routine before you start your day? Because he was wondering, you know, where's all this motivation or energy or uh, you know, the way how I'm thinking, you know, where, where it comes from. And what I told him, I said, you know, there's a great book called The Miracle Morning from Hal Elrod. And it talks a lot about how all highly successful and wealthy people, how they start their day. And some of the things uh, that was mentioned in the book, you know, they have an attitude of gratitude. They, they, vis they, have, they visualize, you know, some of their uh, visions or goals or dreams in life. And, you know, they do things like exercise and meditation and things like that. So what I do every morning, I told him, I said, I, you know, scratch, do scratching. And I do about, you know, 15 push-ups, if not more, every day. And I also pray and I meditate to start my day very strongly. And it makes a big difference. So that's my morning routine. That's what works for me. And of course, getting up very early. You start the day very early, like five or six in the morning, which I do. And the second question that he asked me is, how do you be an expert when you're starting your business? So if you're starting any company, any business, you can't just say you are the expert at what you do. You got no experience. You got no capital. You're starting off. So what there was a quote that i told them from jim ron who's the mentor of tony robbins and he said success is not something you pursue it's something you attract by who you become so to become an expert you have to become a very valuable person and how do you go about doing so if you have no experience well it's all trial and error so if someone says oh chin can you do can you do this can you do that can you fix properties can you etc even if you don't know how to, just say yes and figure it out afterwards. That's like what Richard Branson said. If you don't know how to do something and an opportunity comes to you, just say yes and figure it out afterwards. And after many trial and errors and problems you have resolved, the better you become. And then over the years, you become more experienced. And then years later, when you do good work and people have seen the results, then they will tell other people the good things that you have done and then you become that expert in your field, in your industry and in your type of business. So the third question, what he also asked me is, he said, Daniel, if I had 5,000, 10,000 or 15,000, right, should I spend it on taking a coaching program to learn about marketing and all this stuff, which it is uh, that he's doing? And so I asked him a question. I said, from a scale of one to 10, right? When it comes to taking risk, 10 being you are not afraid to jump off a cliff, even if you don't have a parachute. And number one being you just want to stay in your safe zone and you're not, you're very afraid to take risk. He said, well, I would want to be a 10. Well, I know he's not a 10. He's probably more like a five because he's still figuring things out. But if he said he's a 10, then don't take any coaching program. Learn to do all the stuff on your own by reading as much as possible. Because in the beginning, you don't have a lot of capital. You have to be very resourceful and read as much about, you know, marketing or, 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 or planning your business. And, you know, how are you going to make money? How are you going to get customers? How are you going to advertise yourself or sell yourself uh, online to, you know, your products and your services such that people would buy it? Who are your customers? Who are your targeted customers? And, you know, uh, and I am telling him he's starting his marketing company in one of the best times because, you know, he's, he, he's starting off with a lot of money that, you know, he got in the past couple of months, what I can tell you. So, you know, much better. And I would say it's, it's the best time to start his business with the amount of capital that he has, not even near the amount that I had when I first started. 
so he's you know so it's just figuring things out like that and the last question what he asked me is does money motivate you daniel i said well the purpose of business is to make money period the purpose of business is to make money you're not here to make friends you're not here to you know waste time right the purpose of business is to make money now more importantly to be very successful i told them you must have three things one you gotta have desire number two you gotta have passion and number three you gotta have persistence you have those three things desire passion and persistence and you'll be very very successful in business if you are in the business for a very long period of time and the most important is you have to focus on the value that you are giving to others you can't just focus number you know like you want to make a million and that is your goal it's all about money 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 you have to focus on the value that you're giving to others so if you want to make a million you know find a way how you can give 10 million of value to others and you will make the 1 million but don't focus on the money focus on the value so how do you increase the sales or the money that you make in your business increase your value and increase your service and you will increase your income so those were some very powerful things that i mentioned to him this morning in the conversation and i you know i think uh, you know for any person starting their business right those were some very powerful principles i mean you got to make a living you got to make money that which is the purpose of business you can't work for free which i said many times in this book because everything in business have a cost you have to make money and don't and, and also help a lot of people by focusing on the value that you give to others and always be reading always be learning always be selling and always be thinking about how it is you're going to grow your business every day and how you can give as much value to your customers and how you can serve your customers to grow a very successful business so those are some of the principles and some of uh, you know the the you know the words of advice that was spoken this morning and hopefully all of that can also benefit you to create a much more successful life for yourself and for your family and uh you know and uh for your business as well so thank you very much and you know if you like this video just like wherever it is posted on whichever social media and um and you can leave comments as well and thank you very much and have a great day